people want to buy, and you must allow them the joy of buying. So if you push your product onto somebody right away, here's the fix, here's how you do this, they don't get to buy, and it isn't any fun for them. So they don't come. People make a lot of different mistakes, and I gave a session this morning to a group in London, and they were really enamored of this one mistake that's pretty easy to fix, but it's not because it's, it's easy to fix because once you see it, you go, yeah, 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 I got it. But it's hard to fix because what comes out of everybody's mouth is the wrong thing, by habit. And so this is really something where you want to monitor your focus. That's really what it's about. Because what comes, what's in your head is what comes out of your mouth. The trouble is that sometimes stuff is packed in your head that you don't even know is there. And a person will ask you something, give you something where there's like a stimulus, right? It's like, well, what do you do? And right away, things come out that you haven't thought about at all. They just are kind of programmed in there, right? Like if you hit your hand on the stove, you normally are going to go like this, right? It's, there's, you don't think about it, you just pull away. And many of the words that we use are like that. And so what happens is you say stuff and the other person's eyes glaze over and you don't know exactly what you said because you didn't really plan what to say because it's almost like a routine. We've heard it so much. So I want to... Um, show you what that is so you can become conscious of how to be more conscious before you respond to a question and before you create a post or before you create a flyer what it is that is coming out on the paper or the screen in front of you what the focus is okay um, and if you're getting glazed eyes when you open your mouth to talk about whatever you've got something's coming out of your mouth that is not really what you want to say. So I want to show you what you're going to say instead. Okay. All right, this is three mistakes, but I'm really just going to do one of them. So one of this, these three will by itself keep you in the poor house. Okay. Our business is getting customers and getting recruits. That is what we do one way or the other. Every business has to get customers, Apple, Google, Amazon, everybody, the mom and pop store. And in our industry, we also get people who are recruits who then are become if you will, resellers, right? Distributors. And I'm assuming now with this that you're not going to approach friends and family or that you don't have any left. Or Now, if you do, we have a really interesting little class for that uh, called the Warm Market Boss, and there's a very interesting way to approach them so that you don't irritate them even if you've done that in the past. But I'm assuming right now that you're talking to people that are not your friends and family, okay? So here's the mistake that I want to fixate on. The old way is to talk about the product, the company, or the pay plan. The new is to talk about the problem you can solve. And this is an extremely big, fat difference. Everybody on Facebook talks about their company, their product, their doctor dingling, whatever it is that, they, that, they're, that they're talking about. You know, everybody talks about the science, that it's a breakthrough product, that it's proprietary, it works at the cellular level, the DNA level, it works with like brother mother's breast milk we heard somebody say the other day <laughs> right so we want to show and tell what we've got this is a very common in fact it's 99.9 percent .9 what people do in the network marketing industry across hundreds of companies this is what people talk about and i'll tell you something many years ago when shackley got started i think they've been around 50 or 55 years about 10 years ago maybe eight years ago, I did a big giant class for Shackley people. There were about five or six hundred in my study hall. And I would say about a dozen of the people had been in that company for like 30 or 40 years. I mean, they were, had really been in there a long time. And she said, you know, in the beginning, we all got a lot of customers. And the, everybody goes, yeah, yeah, what, so what happened? What did you do in the old days, right? And she said, we would just tell our story. She said, nobody tried to be a little doctor. But for some reason, people persuaded us that we were not enough the way we were, that our stories really weren't enough, and that we need to be little doctors. And she said, ever since we started on that focus, we never could get anybody to stay interested anymore. <laughs> and she was probably 73 or 74 when she said that. And she'd been with Shackley since she was in her like mid-20s. And it was a really very revealing comment. 
that they didn't think they were enough anymore, so they thought they'd better learn the science and come across like little doctors. And this is why people focus on these things. They think this is what they should do. But what happens is you get glazed eyes to a person. You write a flyer about how the science, Dr. Dingling, Breakthrough Proprietary, come see the product. Are you going to get two people to come? Probably existing distributors. You see, because people don't, that's not what they want to do. This is what we think we should do. It's also a mistake, but that's nevertheless, that's what it is. So you ask if you've been leading with the product, the science, how wonderful it is that it's about gut health or about, I don't know, enzyme health or immune support, you name it. Has that worked for you so far, talking about that stuff? And if the answer is yes, keep doing it. What can I say, right? But if not, you want to try something else. And that is to think about why people buy in the first place. Why does anybody buy? And I can tell you that if you walk into any GNC or any normal store, ask yourself, what are the chances that somebody would come in and say, you know, I need to have some DNA level immune support. Do you have that? I mean, really, think about it. I want something that's Dr. Dingling approved. Can you show me where that is on that shelf? What do they say instead? I have, I can't sleep at night. I'm coughing at night. What do you have? Problem first. What do you got? Problem. What do you got? And of all the things, what's the number one seller for, for the problem? You see. So they start with the problem because that's why people buy. People get up and go to a store or get up and go to their computer and buy because they have a problem or they need a fix. Right? What's a fix? A quick movie. What's a problem? Well, I need to learn how to market, so I'm buying this class and learn how to do it. So people want to solve a problem or they want to meet some need or want that they have. Like you might go buy popcorn or they want to get from fat to skinny. Right? So it's a problem or to meet some desire. People either run away from stuff, you know, they're trying to get out of situations or they want to achieve something. So it's one of those things. That's why people get up and buy something, whether they go on their computer or go to the store. So. The, what you want to do is, if we know that we as humans, all of us, you know, network marketers are no exception, if all of us are focused on a problem when we're buying, some problem or some want that is unfulfilled at the moment that we're sitting there at Google or at Amazon or sitting in traffic and going to the, wherever people go, there's something you want you don't have and you're, gonna, you're on your way to get it and lay out money because you want to satisfy some want that you've got, okay? That is what people want. Therefore, when you think about this, let's say that your problem that you have solved for yourself, it's easy to start there, let's say that you wake up tired and this is a problem that you know that you have, so you wake up tired, right? What you could do is you can Talk about your product. Oh, I have the sleeping product, and it is wonderful. It helps, you know, increase the, I don't know, the melatonin. It helps your brain waves. It does, mm, it does all this stuff, right? You can talk about that. Remember? The problem that you solved, let's say that you used to wake up tired, and now you don't anymore. We'll just say that, okay? And you talk about the science of the product, because that's what they talk about at the meetings, right? What's in it? How it does it? what the genius ingredients are. Dr. Dingling approved it, yada, yada, yada. So what you want to do instead, instead of talking about the product, you talk about the problem you solve. This is a very significant difference in how you will come across to people. Suddenly, you are interesting, even if they don't have the problem. You'll see. People say, well, let me see if I know somebody, right? So you, you know, every word that comes out of your mouth that's about the product, it's pills, it's God approved, it's this, it's that. All of that is old, right? You're talking about the product or your company or the history or the ingredients. Nobody cares. Remember what we're thinking about? You want to talk about the problem you solve, not the product that you've got, okay? So how do you do this? You could post. Do you wake up tired? Drink too much coffee? I had a two pot a day coffee habit I finally kicked. You want to know how I did that? So this is a post where you're focused on the problem. 
and you ask a question. Questions are marvelous because a person has to respond in their mind, you see. You can't ask somebody a question and their brain isn't working. It's We're wired like that. So do you wake up tired? Do you drink too much coffee? Right away the brain goes, hmm, hmm. And then I had two pot a day coffee habit. You talk whatever you got. And I finally kicked it. Would you like to know how I did that? And you could then say, I'll do a live on it if I get at least 10 likes, right? So what are you doing? Focusing on a problem. Does everybody have that? Probably not. But if somebody does, they'll listen. And if they know someone, they'll say, oh my God, my husband, my wife, my kids, right? So this is the way you want to do this. Okay? And of course, we teach this in the YES program. But I wanted to give it to you here so you understand the concept. So you're focused on the problem and you formulate that into a question that seems to be the easiest thing to do where you talk about what really happened to you. You might say, you know, I used to wake up, before I tried this product, I woke up really tired all the time. And I figured I must drink too much coffee, right? Let's say you, you decide that. In fact, if I looked at it, I had three pots a day or eight shots or ten shots. And then I finally kicked it. And, you know, if you want to know how I did that, in case you got that problem, let me know and I'll tell you how I did. Really? Yeah. That's it. So you convert that into a story like this, you see? Do you wake up tired? It could be many reasons a person wake up, wakes up tired, you see. So you're building in the problem, you wake up tired, and then drink too much coffee, that might have been your issue. If you woke up tired and it was another reason, you might say, did, do you wake up tired? Did you eat too much again last night? before bed. I had a steak a night habit that I finally kicked. Would you like to know how I did that? Or I had a bucket of ice cream habit at night that I finally kicked. Would you like to know how I did that? Or I had a three gin and tonic habit before bed that I finally kicked. Would you like to know how I did that? You see? So depending on your story, you customize this to you. This is your first attempt to find people who are like, who have a problem that you have. You see, without talking about, well, here, i show you the next part. So the old is to, wait, oh, sorry about that. Okay, so what you do here is you're focusing on the issue and asking for people who have this issue. What you're doing here is you are gauging interest. Most people are not going to respond, but nobody will run away. Nobody will say, oh my God, get me off her list. I want to block her. Nobody. So number one, you're not losing everybody. Number two, those who have it will say, yeah, I might like to know what that is. Okay? All right. I may have some of these slides out of order here, but we'll manage. Let me give you another example besides waking up tired. It's making big promises. Like, let's say, get five customers with this system. Right? Boring and standard fare do this ranking program and get five customers. So you're making promises. And what you want to do instead is, if you're thinking about what's in a person's mind that is your prospect, your ideal customer, which is somebody right now like you, here's what you could do instead. The new way would be, is it really possible to get 100 customers in 45 minutes per day? It is. But is, the question is, is it really possible to do X in Y time? Or is it possible to do X without Y? And what happens here is you're basically getting into the mind of the other person who's wondering, you know, if I don't know if I'm ever going to get these customers. I got one and they gave their product back. Nobody wants this. That's what 95% of network marketers are thinking at any time. You go to the game of network marketing and I can tell you, 99% of the people in there don't make any money. They maybe have two, three customers. If they make $100 a year, it's amazing. And it's not, it's across the board, network marketers across the board. They just shut down Advocare. It was quite a large network marketing company. I think they had like, I don't know, about a half a million distributors or a million. And it's pretty big. I've worked with them for years and years. And they said the average distributor in that company across the board, I think 95, it wasn't even average, it was 95 or 97 percent of them made less than $250 per year, per year. That's on earnings and that doesn't count expenses for events or their own expenses for their product because they have to buy product to stay qualified to get paid. 
And then they go schlepping to meetings and doing trainings and all of that. This is how it is. And it's because the focus, in large part, is on the product. And everybody teaches this, and it doesn't really work. And maybe it did 20, 30 years ago. But in today, you have to engage a person. And the way you engage them is you can't tell them mine's better than everybody else's. Why? Nobody believes you. Everybody says that. If everyone in the world saying mine's better is best one, then it's just a lot of people saying, well, mine's better than yours. Oh, really? Well, how do you know? You've only looked at one other company. Well, mine's better than yours. Goodbye. Click. Boom. <laughs> that's, that's not how you can do it. So you need to engage them. And what I'm suggesting is that what I've done for all these years is engage at the problem level and then put that into a question so you don't sound like you've got the answer and you're going to pounce on somebody. So, so this is a structure that you can use. Is it really possible to do this without that or in this period of time? Does that make sense? Have you got this, ladies? So the next one. Notice that at this point when you're saying, is it really possible to do this, right? Or, let's see here, this one. Do you wake up tired? Do you drink too much coffee? I had a two-pot a day habit, blah, 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 right? Notice here that nobody talked about the product name, the company name, the service, none of that. No one has any idea what it is exactly that is involved. You're just asking, is this of concern to anyone here? That's it. That's where you start, okay? So I just want to make absolutely sure that you realize uh, how this works. And now one of the drawbacks to this method is your brain is going to go, well, how do we know what their problem is? Well, you don't. You don't know. So what you do instead of banging on every single person and hoping that they're gonna that they're the one you don't want to do that because it's not true and it really makes you persona non grata and it makes you very tired and then you want to quit right so what we do is we put out the problem that we can solve and see who comes and if you have a hundred friends you might have three or four people who come say yeah, I, I I'm, I'm interested in figuring out how to solve that and my mother-in-law also is it has a trouble sleeping or my sister and I are both in the business and neither of us are getting any customers. So yeah, how would you, is it possible to get 100 customers in 45 minutes a day? What would you have to do, right? So you're drawing people to you. It's kind of like if somebody's starting a baseball team in the neighborhood, they're going to say, well, on Saturday we're going to have tryouts for, I don't know, for softball, Little League softball. Who's going to come? Well, the five or 10 or 15 or 20 people in the town, parents with kids that want to try out for the ball team. It's going to be just, this is exactly the same process. You're just doing it on Facebook, on your profile. And what happens is when Facebook sees that people are responding, they spread it, the message further. And I'll give you, you know, a danger about who's on your Facebook page here in just a minute, but I just want you to see that it's kind of like, we're going to have tryouts for the ballerinas. We're going to have tryouts for the tennis team. We're going to have tryouts for this and that. When a person calls for tryouts, the people who show are the ones who have an interest, nobody else. And nobody sits around thinking, oh my gosh, you know, how come so-and-so didn't come? If they're not interested in ballet or football or baseball or the, the singing, the choir, right, or the chorus, they're not going to come. So I just want to be sure that, this, that you're clear about this, okay? This is what you're doing. The key difference is instead of the old is talking about the product, the company, the pay plan, the science, right, all that, the new is you're talking about the problem you can solve, okay? Does that make sense? So this is really what I wanted to make clear, that one of the big mistakes people make that guarantee glazed eyes, and they always say, you know, people that, or you don't hear another thing, is when you're talking about the product, the company, or the pay plan, or how wonderful it is, people run away. Why? Because they know you're a seller. The only people who do that are sellers. And that's why we know, right? So you want to talk about the problem you can solve and find every which way to find ways to talk about that problem like we talked about here before. You know, like for this one, for example. Is it really possible to get 100 customers in 45 minutes a day? Is it really possible to lose 44 pounds in six weeks 
just by changing what you eat and without any starvation. Is it really possible to get your life back when you've lost your, your spouse? Is it possible to do that in, within, say, the first year? Whatever. See, these are all issues where you're bringing up the question so that it's to draw someone in. Because if you say, I have the way to do this, people don't respond. Why? Because they know you're going to sell them. People want to buy, and you must allow them the joy of buying. So if you push your product onto somebody right away, here's the fix, here's how you do this, they don't get to buy, and it isn't any fun for them. So they don't come. So you have to engage them where they are. Is it really possible to do this? Or do you wake up tired? Right? Do you get cranky with your kids too often? Are you sorry every day that you didn't do what you said you were going to do again? Are you mad at yourself every day because you didn't do again what you said you were going to do? Yeah, I had the same problem for two years, and finally I figured out what to do, how to make myself do what I said so I wouldn't be mad at myself anymore every single day. You want to know how I did that? Half the world's going to say yes. Everybody's mad at themselves all day for what, what they did that they said they wouldn't and what they didn't that they said they would. I mean, we're human, right? Yeah, that's kind of how that goes. All right, so I just wanted to make sure that you understand this. And of course, you know, for those of you that are not in the YES program, we have a program that shows you how to, this is like a tiny part of it. But if you'd like to see, you know, how to work your business like this, you feel free to book a call. Maxout.com, M-A-X-O-U-T.com forward slash talk, T-A-L-K. And one of us will chat with you and see whether or not, you know, you're ready for a transformation. The program that we have is really designed to help transform somebody's existence as a marketer and person who wants to earn a living helping other people get access to information and products and programs that make their life better. So if you're just looking to get your product costs covered, probably not something that you want to do. But if you are somebody who believes that what you have can make a difference in this world and you want to start a movement and you want to know how to do that with marketing and sales, which is the only way to do it, then book a call and we can chat and see whether or not I'll figure out what your problem is first. We'll decide what it is and then I'll see if I can actually help you with it because I can't help all problems, some. And the ones that we can fix, we're quite good at, we're very good at. But if, if you've got a problem that I can't fix, then we'll suggest where, where you could go to get it fixed so you can move your life ahead and move your business ahead. Okay? There. Okay, good. So that is the end of the show. Is that helpful for you guys? Love you too, Susie girl. I'm looking to see that flyer lady. You're going to have one interesting group of people at your house. Okay, great. Well, thanks a lot. Thanks for coming. Yep, yep, yep. Good, good. See you soon. Hey there, for those of you that are listening on the podcast, the link to check out the Kim Claver class and see if you're a fit for that is https colon double forward slash Kim Claver class dot com all jammed together. K I M K L A V like Victor E R C L A S S dot com. Maybe I'll see you there. Thanks. Bye.